All right, a quick video for you guys. Um, we're over here now. Uh, we're going to exit this cell here, and we're buying it. Um, I'll show you why. There's, there's multiple reasons, but I'm just simply going to give you one of them. It's just going to make it simple. Um, let's take a look here. This is this is... This is what, I'm, what I was saying to you guys earlier about uh, how one uh, currency equals another currency. Okay. If we zoom out here, we will clearly see that euro here. Just, let's just say we were here. We'll go back in time. Count here count up to here we got 522 um points just to there let's just double check that again it's not a lot but it was just just in terms of euro cad we just go one day here like to the high 713 okay from the low to the high that one section there after that moved down okay 713 let's go to the exact same place here Okay, it was here to here, so that's going to be here, uh huh, to here. Where is it? It's about oh fuck, hang on. All right, let's just make this precise. I'll show you. This is good. All right, so the high here of the day was a thousand and nine at the close okay this guy was 733 from the low to the high 713 right okay so we can see there's a 300 point difference that equals euro cad down let's go over here we'll put the euro cad in the exact same place okay where the hell was it, it must have been here right yeah. To close. Nine oh three. Okay, Euro cat down. So because we looked at these two, we created a trade here. I just wanted to point that out. Now what we see for the first time in forever is CAD yen has basically made a double top. So we can see it hasn't gone very high. We can just li literally witness this. But here we can see Euro has gone higher. So we now know that Euro versus the CAD is bullish. Okay, If you want to use that term. Now let's check the local move. The local is the one here, the nearby move that we're creating, that we're building in current uh, time, uh, this time period. So we'll go from the very high here, measure down to here, and we see, look, 400 points, okay, CAD yen. The exact same thing on Euro, then we'll confirm 302 right so euro has come down less than cad has which means euro is stronger uh, than cad so we have to buy this okay we have to buy this so we're going to buy some more now okay and then we're going to buy a little bit more and then we're going to hold this and then that's it now we have if if we just simply keep monitoring this and looking at the same thing versus the other currencies, we'll start to witness a change all over again later on. And then we'll, be, we'll already be prepared for that. And we don't need to sit at the screens for 12 hours a day, even though I do, but we don't really need to do it. You just, you can literally look at this from the open to the close every day. Look at it in the morning, look at it in the afternoon, and you should be able to put something together to get yourself on the right side anyway, at least. <clears throat> anyway, thanks a lot for listening. Cheers.